So my question again is who radicalized you against Islam and why? Sanford Pass Pria Yahudi yang pernah masuk Kristen dan kini menjadi Muslim ini membandingkan perlakuan yang ia terima. Ketika dulu semasih ia menjadi Yahudi, orang-orang Kristen mendatanginya dengan perlakuan yang begitu manis. Namun setelah menjadi Muslim, ia kerap diserang dengan sikap permusuhan. When I was a Jew in my youth, and Christians came to me, they were ever so sweet. And then 11 years ago, I became Muslim, and I get like treated very, very hostily from the get-go by most Christians on Facebook. Now, all Christians, I know Christians. I know some really nice people who are Christian. They believe what they believe. I believe what I believe. I told them, I conveyed the message, and that's that. Muslims aren't here to kill anybody indiscriminately. Muslims are commanded to live in peace with anybody who wants to live in peace with us. Islam is not a, a, a pushy religion. We state our, we, we convey the message. There's no deity worthy of worship, but the one who created us and Muhammad is his messenger, following and foretold by Moses and Jesus. And then if people want to hear more, we tell them. If they don't, that's fine. And then I'll be the best neighbor I can be to a Hindu, a Jew, an atheist, a Christian. You know, doesn't matter. Pria 71 tahun ini mengaku heran dengan sikap permusuhan sebagian orang Kristen terhadap Muslim. Padahal Islam sudah sangat jelas menerima dan menghormati Yesus beserta ibunya, sementara Yahudi jelas-jelas menolak mereka. So what I'm curious about is who radicalized you against Islam? Because you're so nice to people who deny Jesus. And you're so rude to people who are anxiously and eagerly awaiting his return just like you are. What's up with that? What's up with that? Who radicalized you against Islam? You see, I know ultimately it's Satan because I know Islam is true. Okay? You know what the Jewish Babylonian Talmudic rabbis write, wrote about Jesus and, and his mother, what's happening to them now? And your buddies... So many of you are like pushing Zionism and everything while they're committing genocide on other people. You know, in Islam, we're, we're, we're commanded to stand up for the oppressed, not just the Muslim oppressed, anyone who's oppressed. When an oppressed person calls out to, a, to God, he'll hear them. It doesn't matter what religion they are. If they're oppressed, God will hear them. There's a direct line from the oppressed straight to God. No waiting. It's a hotline. Someone's oppressed and they cry out to God, Look out, oppressor. <laughs> Look out, oppressor. Dalam kesempatan itu, Sanford mengajak orang-orang yang memiliki kebencian terhadap Islam di dalam hati mereka untuk berdiskusi. Karena bagi Sanford, ujaran kebencian hanya akan melahirkan kebencian. Here, let's talk truth. Let's put our elbows on the table and talk to each other. Not with disrespect, but with like frankness and openness. Honesty. Having been a Jew and having been a Christian, and, and now that I'm a Muslim, I look back on the books and I see what they really are. I see what they really mean. My perspective changes. The, more, the higher you climb a mountain, the more you see. The deeper you go into religious study, the more you're aware, the more you become aware of. And the more you do that, the stranger you are to the people who haven't climbed as high and seen as far. So my question again is who radicalized you against Islam and why? Okay? I'm looking forward to some answers. God willing, peace be with you. <laughs>